Hi again, I'm here with Joan Van Offeren with Lake Erie Shores and Islands. Hi, Joan. Hi, hi. I've been happy to be here today. How about you guys? I'm thrilled. And I'm a, thrilled to be here, thrilled to be in the shade, and thrilled to be sitting down. Cause it's All of the above. I bet you've had a long day here and a um, few rides hopefully you got to sneak in. Absolutely, but you know, you as well, so yeah, right there. Yeah, we, um, we made our challenge and um, survived it, right? So far. So far. Not too much screaming. Did you try right and left or front back? I, we tried left. I haven't been on the right side yet. Okay. I, I tried the left as well, but it's interesting. Everyone has an opinion about what might be their favorite or for whatever particular reason it might be. What's your favorite? You know, I, um, I'm, I went for the left side and I felt very comfortable. It was smooth, but I, I remind, I'm reminded that uh, I grew up around here, so I got to ride these roller coasters growing up, and I also worked here um, back in the 80s. So I, I've had lots of chances to ride. I'm going to say um, Top Thrill Dragster. Wow, what an, you know, you can't even talk after you explode out of that place. But this could be a new favorite. We'll have to ride it a few more times. So jury's still out. We still need to do a few more test runs. Right. I'm hearing Raptor is an option. So another one of those where you kind of dangle your legs and see what happens. I'm up for it. Well, good. So Lake Erie Shores and Islands. What is it? It is our promotional branding of this area. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm really lucky. Again, I have had my job at, as the director of the Lake Erie Shores and Islands, the Visitor's Bureau there, since 1986. And at that time, Cedar Point was kind of the only kid on the block as far as entertainment and attractions. And we have grown so dramatically. I mean, just the development along Route 250, the continuing investments here at Cedar Point, um, places like Kalahari that, you know, continue to expand and, and grow. So we're really lucky in our tourism promotion. Well, I think I, I have some friends who are jealous of my job because we're really got a great place to promote. It's easy to sell. Oh, yeah, it's it's beautiful up here. And and I, I'm told there's more stuff to do than ride roller coasters. How about that, absolutely. You know, and, and roller coasters are not for everyone. So if I know people who come here specifically to watch shows or to be entertained by the crowds. And certainly that's fun. Got to have some French fries when you're at Cedar Point, too. That's just another option. Lovely beach. And I was just talking to someone who's here from Florida. And they, you know, they said, well, Florida in the summer, not as much fun. I'd rather live in Ohio in the summer. And, it, you know, the Cedar Point kickoff kind of gets us in that mood for the summer kickoff, don't you think? Oh, I agree. And, and speaking of summer, I had a question that no one's ever been able to answer oh, for me. I love a challenge. Okay. So, Dippin' Dots, ice cream of the future. Is it the future yet? Oh, it might be a little past the future for Dippin' Dots. What do you think? I, um, I would not be, it might be my age category, but I'm not a big dip and dot fan. I kind of like still, I don't know, have you ever tried uh, Toffs, which has a, a place here, 52 flavors, hard scooped ice cream. That would be my favorite over dip and dots. I, I'd have to agree with you. Yeah. Now, how about, here's another example. Have you ever tried, they have, I think it's um, ice cream for astronauts that's all smushed up in. Freeze dried. There you go. Again. If that's the future, I don't think I want to be an astronaut. Yeah, I don't want to be an astronaut or be in the future. There you go. No, not not, not even back to the future. Or... No, that's different. I've always wanted to drive a DeLorean. Yes, yeah, that that's a good goal. We sh I should put that on my bucket list. So, well, okay. Right. Say we get a DeLorean okay. driving around Sandusky, North Northern Ohio. What else is there around here that we could go see other than Cedar Point? I think we would need to go downtown Sandusky because there's, you know, a beautiful, cute downtown with a waterfront, great restaurants, and lots of fun. But we might need to take that DeLorean uh, across the bridge and, and get that cool car on a cool ferry boat. Go over to Kelly's Island or Putin Bay, maybe. So explore our islands while while we're at it um, and show off our car. You know, on Sundays um, at Putin Bay, they have an old car show every Sunday at two o'clock. I'm not sure our DeLorean would fit in with it, but we might be a hit. I'd oh. like to try it. Oh, definitely. So I've heard of this Putin Bay and Kelly's Island, and I hear there's fun things to do and a very long bar. 
a very long bar, yes. I mean, still they say world's longest. It's a, a big dark room and it packs them in, you can imagine. Yeah, over on Kelly's Island is a, a larger island, so it's a little more to explore because it's less developed, so maybe more nature-oriented. But um, they have some great perch available. Uh, our Lake Erie local yellow perch is so good. And Brandy Alexander's is another favorite over there. So it's kind of an adult milkshake. It's another place that has fresh strawberries. They cut out the top, fill it with a little something creamy and tasty. Shot of whipped cream on top. Eat the whole thing. Gotta like that. I think you'd be a fan. I said, you know me too well, and we've known each other for like 10 minutes. <laughs> there we go, absolutely. So I'm sure you'd like Kelly's Island. And then Putin Bay has, you know, the, there's kind of a kickoff. I just learned about this this year, the uh, Roundhouse, um, which has been around a long time. They apparently have their official kickoff to uh, Putin Bay is open when the whiskey light turns on. So it's a neon light that when the official neon whiskey light comes on means putting bays open, you better get over there and start enjoying. What happens if the light bulb burns out? Hmm, I'll bet you they're quick to replace it. And you know what, I'm thinking the doors are open for anybody to come in. It's, um, it can be a rowdy, entertaining kind of place, a lot of dancing, entertainment with uh, music and lots of fun, so. Um, they have buckets of beer, too. If you're a beer fan, big red buckets, lots of beers. When the beers are consumed, you might be able to wear that bucket on your head. That would probably improve this show if I was to do that. <laughs> it, would, it would clash a little bit, but I did want to show off your socks because look at these. I mean, I called you this morning and asked you, what are you wearing? Because I wanted a kind of match, but look at this. You even got the Gatekeeper Cedar Point color logos. You are a fashion statement. We're prepared, and I get my color scheme from Dippin' Dots. Do you? Mm. Now, I have to ask, does every dot have a different flavor, like green or lime? I don't know that answer. In the future, there are no flavors. Really? My taste buds would have an issue with that. Yeah, mine too. Especially with ice cream. That would be not a very healthy thing, but if... if that last meal might be a banana split. How about yours? Mint chocolate chip. Ooh, now you're talking. That is a good, good pick. I like it. A little hot fudge on top of that. You ever try that? Oh, yeah. We could be good friends. I, I think we are good friends. <laughs> so the verdict is, or the moral of the story, come up this way. There's lots to do, more so than just rides, good ice cream, lots of fun exploring, and Joan. Well, thanks. Yeah, come and see us. We'll give you all kinds of ideas to spend your time and money. Giddy up. Thank you. Thanks for your time.